Hey, everyone out there in online land. This is your uh, online media maven, Vic Martino, and you're looking at the best book cake, case, yeah, not book cake. Oh, I love cake. I, I, I don't indulge anymore. I'm very strict diet, but see, cake is on my mind. No, not book cake. Book, book case. The best, the best book case shelf you'll ever see. Put together by Lucas and Matteo, my two amigos. Actually, Matteo did most of the work putting this book bookcase shelf together. And uh, it's mostly biographies of the greatest entertainers of the 20th cent- century. Some of the greatest entertainers of the 20th, most of the greatest entertainers of the 20th century. But I want to single out for this video, I'm going to single out two books in particular to talk about Ernie Kovacs. And that one book there is The Vision of Ernie Kovacs. And the other book is Kovacs in Kovacs Land. And the two Ernie Kovacs books are in between books of... uh, One is called Live from New York, an autobiography of Saturday Night Live, the history of the early Saturday Night Live. And then there's uh, a book about uh, uh, Carson and Letterman, a Johnny Carson biography and a Letterman, David Letterman biography. Very apropos that they're in between the two Ernie Kovacs books. Let me move the two Ernie Kovacs books closer together because those shows were very much influenced by Ernie Kovacs. Oh, let me get this book. It just dropped on the floor. Let me put it up here next to the other Ernie Kovacs book. As I talk about Ernie Kovacs, I got these two books, uh, The Vision of Ernie Kovacs and Ernie and Kovacs Land at a local bookstore here in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. But you could probably get them online, Amazon and eBay. And uh, they're very good books. And uh the reason why I'm singling out Ernie Kovacs is because, well, he was very influential. Uh, unless you're a comedy con- connoisseur, he's all but forgotten. But he shouldn't be because he was a very influential comedian, particularly in the golden age of television in the 50s. And he influenced, to this day, a lot of modern day, uh, te- well, not as of 2023, 20, but for instance, uh, besides... Uh, uh, Carson Letterman and Saturday Night Live, uh, Second City TV, uh, Monty Python, Rowan and Martin's Laughing, The Gary Shandling Show, as writer, comedy, uh, popular, famous comedy writer, Alan Zweibel said, who worked on some of those shows, we were very influenced by Ernie Kovacs, and we, before we'd come up with ideas, we used to say to ourselves, what would Ernie do? So yes, back in the fifties, he was doing things with his out of from his comedic mind that lay, you know way ahead of his time. That later on was done when we had the modern day technology. He was doing it back in the early days of television when they didn't have the modern technology. It was all coming from his comedic mind, and unfortunately, he was killed in a car accident in nineteen sixty two. And he would have been, well, he was only 42 years old. So it's very sad. But I would suggest to anyone who is interested in the history of comedy, uh, the history of sneezing. No, if you're interested in the history of comedy, read these two books. Uh, of the two, I recommend uh, the Vision of Ernie Kovacs, in particular. And if you're, a, if you know, even if you're not a fan of Ernie's, if you're already a fan of Ernie's, then Ernie and Kovacs Land is a good book book to have. So, those are the two books I recommend for you to purchase as soon as you can, if you're uh, a comedy connoisseur. And I'm going to leave you with these two words, Ernie Kovacs.